Hey guys, good to be spending some time with you. I, I've often filmed from this part in the garden before. Uh, you've seen many videos. Um, I just had to share some thoughts with you uh, as I was seeking God this morning. Uh, the scripture from Isaiah 33 verse 6 was part of my daily readings and some of my daily readings I, I use a, uh, a book called Face to Face, which is uh, a man called Ken Bo, Dr. Ken Bo, and he personalizes the scripture. So Isaiah 33 and verse 6, he personalizes it and says, You are the stability of our times, a wealth of salvation, in uh, a wealth of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. Fear in you, Lord, is the key to this treasure. Because I often uh, when this guy's personalizing the stuff, I often uh, want to check it out myself and go to directly to the scripture. But it is such a powerful word. You are the stability in our times. And uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to go through, and I would recommend this. It works for me. It may work for you. Or I like to go through the the, the Jehovah titles, uh, El Elyon, El Shaddai, Elohim, and so forth. And uh, but before I did that, I wanted to check out what this Isaiah 33 and verse six looks like in the Passion Translation. And listen, watch this. You watch this. It's so so good. It says. He will be your constant source of stability in changing times. Are we in changing times or what? But it, the promise is, and I know we've got to read the whole chapter. I know we've got to get the context, context. I get that. But listen how this just jumps off the page, jumps off the screen if you read your Bible through a tablet. He will be your constant source of stability in changing times out of his abundant love he gives you riches of salvation wisdom knowledge yes the fear of the lord is the key to this treasure the the word the the buzzword for me and maybe what you watch in this will it you'll grab it as well is constant source of stability so here's, this is what I did. I went through the titles as I do as part of my devotion. So I, I say, you are El Elyon, the Most High. You are El Shaddai, the Almighty. You are the Elohim, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, etc. I do this. And so this time I prefixed, you are El Elyon the constant source of stability of our time. You are El Shaddai, the constant source of stability in our times. You are Elohim, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the constant source of stability in our times. That you are the I Am, the constant source of stability in our times. And when I get to the I am, it goes directly in my mind to Hebrews 13, 8, which I know you know what that is. It's Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the constant source of our stability. He is, his presence is our stability. His wholeness is our stability. His provision is our stability. His banner is our stability. His righteousness, which is a gift to us, is our stability. His constant name of healing is our stability. Get this. Yeah, he, the fact that he is the good shepherd is our constant stability. That he is the one who sanctifies us which is our stability. He is our saviour, redeemer, which is our stability. He is our rock, which is our stability. He is Adonai, the Lord, 
a constant source of stability. May we today make Jesus our stability. He doesn't cease to be our stability, but we move away. I'm under an umbrella, the shade from the brilliant sunshine. But if I came out, I'd be exposed to the sun. So we need to bring ourselves into the center of his will daily. Bring ourselves under that constant source of stability. That stability is found in Jesus. I pray this has blessed you and, uh, and encouraged you. If it has, don't forget to like, subscribe share it on your page and together we get the message out i'm going to pray and wish you a good day father i just thank you for the audience thank you for those people that are watching right now lord you just touch them where they are be their constant source of stability in jesus name amen god bless you friends until the next time